Okay. Let's check the uh which no it's probably the other one. Oh no, it's that. Okay. What's the other one? Yeah. Okay, but that's this story I can be there right. So mm, let's start with the first one. Not alright. Chan Chan, recruited from the Dimitrius Guild, is regularly robbed me in Sugari into special and interesting event. Okay. Mm. Oh, okay. The new one is here. Okay. Oh, yes, before that. Uh, I should check. Oh no, I'll check the characters afterwards, yeah. What if somebody shows up after? Uh, hey, happy later, right? Team once. You guys have been having fun. How about going on a special adventure with me? Uh, call us Team Once. Such a great patch, too. Recently, we've been having a lot of fun, but why is Pamela getting a strange feeling that we've met before? You guys are extremely diligent adventurers, so I'm sure it bumped into each other at some point. Well, wouldn't you be sure if you saw us or not? I mean, we're quite unique. I'm Chen Chen. I usually hang out around the Feiyun Slope, looking to recruit new people into the Adventure's Guild. Everyone and their cats and dogs passing by have probably heard my voice. Is it looking familiar? I mean, you look like anybody from the guild. Yes, it was my efforts. It means my efforts were noticed by you guys. All the more reason for you to experience my masterpiece. At this point, of course, we'll lend you a hint. Can you tell us a little bit about your particular adventure? Sure, then I'll cut you the chase. Recently, I came across a new novel at the one way book house. No, that's not it. Rather, I gather some new information. I noticed that people's expectations for adventure are rising in activities such as climbing and wing gliding are not as exciting as they used to be. In order to get more people to join the Adventures Guild, we need to come up with more novel and exciting approaches. So I came up with a couple of other recruiters, pulled together our resources, consulted a few expert mountain climbers and fireworks craftsmen, and designed a new recent challenge. Why the fireworks? There are many mechanisms laid out in the challenge. Just step on them and use the momentum from the fireworks and gunpowder blast to accelerate into the sky. This doesn't sound safe. Fireworks and gunpowder. So for this challenge, you want to blast people into the sky. Firework flying pymo. No, rocks propelled pymo. Why are you so excited? You are also going up. Although, if your strength, an exposed barrel brush bursting in front of you wouldn't face you. But who knows, it might just blow you away. Not to worry, the explosion is contained inside a tough device. I've taken the necessary precautions to make sure it's safe and injury free. I've also filled up patents with the Ministry of Civil Affairs and have publicized this event many, many, many times. Please do not steal my idea. Uh, there are so many hurdles, you've really put a lot of thought into this. As far as I can tell, just doing this racing challenge will stir the spirit of adventure even in an average passerby. 
Steam wants your reputation precedes you. If you guys take point on this recent challenge, you'll be sure to attract a lot of people. I have also prepared great rewards for the challenge, they'll be sure to encourage more people to join the Adventurers Guild. Okay, if you're working upon a race, let's go. Buy time for Paimon and me to get blown sky high. Uh, yeah, there's no reason we shouldn't do this if there are rewards for everything. Then it's a deal. Without further ado, please give it a whirl. Uh, there, there are a lot of, well, there are a lot of tracks for you to try. I'm sure you'll have a good time with them, and I'll get a couple months worth of results. It's a win-win. Okay, where? Okay, it seems like they are all open already. No challenge. Ah, it's all across the game. Time to go! In the Red Wings Park Challenge, the less time taken and the more challenge coins collected, the higher your final score will become. During the challenge, you can obtain the techniques Sparkling Rush by collecting ages of sparks. When you choose Sparkling Rush, oh, the character will dash forward collecting all challenge coins nearby. Additionally, Sparkling Rush can pierce through the barriers of the obstruction fruits. Approach forward fruits to rapidly leap into the air using the forward's power. Your wind glider will automatically deploy once upon reaching the highest point. Watch for my wing for perfect. What? Follow the wind. Oh. It automatically deploys. Yeah. Okay, I missed yeah. one. Okay, that's a mental challenge because I missed one there. It's because the glider deploys automatically and I wasn't really expecting, even though I read. Just by points. Okay, next one. Time to go. Come on. Where is this? Okay. Wow. 
right that I think this will be true here. I'm gonna draw. <laughs> Another test subject. <laughs> Time to go. No, not that. Oh, that's the marrow. That's not you. Did I miss one? Oh, I missed one. I think I missed one. No, 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 no. Uh, almost. Yeah. Do I have one? No, no. Who's that? Yeah. Follow the wind.
Time to go. Get a knife in the wood. Recharge over time. So the work like that. So it would be nice to traverse terrain. in the foreground, mains, melancholic, yearning, adepta in demons, and a heartfelt romance played out with paper. Uh, okay, the north wall that I walked by. We were supposed to talk to people to figure out what it was about. Fortune in health, peace in wealth. Hello. Is there going to be a performance here soon? Yes, there's going to be a paper play. Are you guys here for it too? So this offer is called paper play. No, paper plays and Leo offers are not the same thing. King Ching, uh, the show is about to begin. Be quiet or you will affect the performance. Sorry, as for the play per play, you know it when you see it. On our guests, we will be performing Brave Beard today. Before the show, if you want to head to the restroom or grab a beverage, now is a good time. We will wait for no one when the show begins. So this performance is actually called Brave Beard, but Paimon has never heard of the story. We can still hear you even at a whisper. Keep down. You can talk during intermission selection. I'm oh, sorry. Intermission selection. The story of the Brave Beard is quite long. In fact, it'd be too long to do it all in one go. So in Gong. It will let the audience pick which scene they want to see during the inter intermission. I'm trying to listen to the play. The play didn't start yet. What? Annoying kid. So, oh, I won't buddy anymore. I promise. So, dear guests, what part of the Bravebeard story would you like to see today? Would you like to see the mountain bound or worshipping Adepti? Maybe exercising demons or ascension. As long as you can name it, I can perform it. 
I want to see the brave beard fight monsters. He is so handsome and wins every time. You've seen worshipping a death eye and exorcising demons so many times already. Have you got tired of it? I want to see the part where the brave beard goes home to see his sister. The brave beard has a sister? I have not heard of this. I definitely haven't seen that before. How impressive. Not many people will request for homecoming. After all, only the real fans know about it. Alright, just in time for our lantern, right? We will now perform the plots featuring monsters. Uh, we shall spin a tale of how lovers end up together. Is it about her sister? Mm -hmm. There are three characters who shall appear in this scene. Aside from our brave beard, with whom you are familiar, of course, there is also a lonely girl named Ibin and a uh, honest gentleman named Nanfeng. Do you understand any of this? Seems I'm too confused. Yeah, I didn't think I would have to read that much. So this is a story about a guy called the Bravebeard, right? Looks like he's there's a lot of supporting characters as well. But so far there's only one performer in on stage. Uh, and there's a floating screen. How's it gonna work? Hey, someone here has never seen a paper play before. Uh, someone in the back asks how I, a lone performer, can be in different places at once and make this performance work. Uh, well, our paper plays may not be as ex exquisite as Liu Hopper's, but we certainly have our own distinctive flavors. As you may know, the characters in the operas are portrayed by real people in the flesh. The actors in our performances, however, are portrayed with paper figures pasted on silk. And the operas take place on a large wooden stage. The stage for our performances, however, is but a paper screen on a wooden shelf. Our actors in stages are all made of paper. That's why we call it a paper play. Does he really have to explain? Can he just go with the play to show people how it is? I am the narrator, but I am no actor. You will meet the three paper actors in just a moment. In Gong, I don't think they know about the brief period either. You, would it be okay if you introduce them to this story? You know, the one you always start with. That's called the establishing moment. I've always enjoyed that too. Please perform it for us in Gong. Establishing moment, establishing moment. It is said that the sky is limited, but the walls of the world are also limitless. There was once a man named Wang Guang, suffering from human injustice, who resorted to dwelling amongst the mountains and rivers. By chance, he became a disciple of Randathus, changed his appearance, and grew a black beard. Thus, he is known as the Brave Beard. At the behest of the Adeptus, he struck down monsters and scared off demons with his sword. The brave beard trained for many years and finally acquired the philosophy of the Adeptus. Right before he returned to the Adeptal abode, he was summoned to recall the past. It turned out that he still had an attachment to the common folk society, where he had a sister at home. The poor sister, Ibin, was now alone and helpless. She thought that her brother had lived a miserable life and never imagined that he would return home. As to what happened next, I shall show you right away. Hey, don't just stand there, clap. Clap along. Uh, is there a rule about why we should clap? Okay. Thank you all. We are supposed to continue the show, but I can tell that these two guests are still a little perplexed. I think it would be better if I asked these two to volunteer from the audience by coming forward and assisting me in directing the scene. Uh, it will give you both a good look and it will help the actors move forward in this on this stage. What do you think? Hey, why didn't you invite me? I know all about paper plays. Gotta remember to invite me, just gotta. 
You have been up there too many times already. Quit making a fuss and enjoy the show. That's fine with me. I'm directly seen. That sounds so novel. It's also fine with my plan. Then I shall ask you two to prepare. As soon as you two are in position, the performance will begin. Okay. Uh, why is the bridge part weird so far? I wish it could be as strong as him. I've seen Bravebeard so many times to the point where I can memorize every line. But don't worry, I won't spoil the story. I'm way better than that. <coughs> so, are you guys ready? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I present you, Homeward, Brave Beard. Uh, oh, that's a lot. Uh, I'm coming in one. Mercy to exercise, save to life. Life to save. Uh, parting from the closest king to brave. After the performance begins, the actor named Wang Wang will move at fixed speed across the stage and will change directions upon making contact with the paper theater's edge or any obstacles. Traps will appear to impede the journey of Wang Wang. Touching them will cause the performance to fail. Move the stage select, move the stage sections to change his path and avoid traps such as such that he can reach his destination. Just let me see how bad it is. Okay, that wasn't a... Uh, 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 okay. Okay, just that was a scene. Okay, I thought the scenes would be a bit longer. Uh. Over the mountains and distance best. One in a dream to meet the last. Huh. Oh, I can oh. I didn't pay attention to that. This beard looks like some sort of mask. Oh, Wang Wang can leap from upper level of the stage to a lower level of uh, the gaps. When he falls through a gap on the lower level of the stage, he will fall off the stage, which results in a performance failure. Okay, so... Uh, is that just a rock? Or... Okay, let's just work. Time of relief is brief. Evening is today only alone, and how shall I return to the other test farm? Um, 
I don't think this will do because he'll hit there. Yeah. Yeah, so from there. But. I'm gonna rotate support. Yes, well, from there to fall. Oh, I can move this one. I thought this was locked as well. Okay, so... Ah, okay. I thought the one was locked. I didn't pay attention. A lover must find a partner for life, for tears to wipe them sorrow is rife. Why sorrow? Oh. Hong Kong has the protection of the Adeptus and can ride on the wind. When he reaches a place where the wind rises, he can ride its flow and reach the stage's upper level. Okay. What happens when he hits his head? Oh. What happens when he's already at the top? Oh, I know. Eat and rest under an oaken bridge across the world to earnestly search. Uh, certain gaps on the stage come equipped with extra boards. Use the mechanisms on the floor to control whether a gap is open or closed. Uh, Hong Wong can switch the stage of the stage gas once for each time he steps on such device. Okay. Alone, I walk through the wilderness, but light steps fear no long tracks. Oh, ah, okay. Um, so, no, I can just come from here.
Lengthening and even shall unite as they will. Ah, uh, drop a lock door and must first obtain the key to it. Hmm. Uh... This corner is prosperous, worthy of trust. Okay, I wasn't sure if they would call this two steps. Who knows where this person goes? Some stage lock sessions give me lock chicks, please. Oh. Okay, so I have to. No, 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 I... Things found. Best matters are best. I go now with the adept I last. Okay. Mm. That was it. Uh, such a great aim to the play. You've done well, young one. How did you find it? Was it hard to perform with paper? It was a piece of cake. Paper plays are different from the web operas. Being able to do everything yourself makes things a lot simpler. The whole thing is pretty well. The script itself for the paper play is also very interesting. Pebble wants to see a new story. Ingong, when will you perform next time? Uh, as long as someone enjoys it, as for the next time, I don't know. You see, doing paper plays for kids is actually a hobby of mine. After this, I will return to the Yunha Opera Troupe to handle the wardrobe and props. Uh, you are of the Yunha Opera Troupe, so you can also sing the opera. I can, to some extent. Who wouldn't be able to carry a tune after staying with the Yonha Opera Troupe for so long? Of course, I'm nothing when compared to Miss Young. 
Uh, I actually work with the people behind the scenes. I'm in charge of the wardrobe and props on stage, such as candles, flags, costumes, accessories, gadgets, whatever props saw on stage, that was me. Some of the customs and props uh, that the Yonhan Opera Troupe uses today are hand me downs from the past, and others were brought or bought or made by myself. To perform an entire Liu Opera, there are a lot of people working on stage and behind the scenes. You can't make it happen with just a few actors and actresses. These years, left and right, Miss Yun gave some of us backstage helpers some time off, and all of my colleagues are back home to spend their, the holidays. I've got all this time on my hands, so I decided to put on my paper plate for the people here. You didn't go home? No, I didn't go home. My mother and father passed away two years ago, so it's just me now. I'm so sorry. Oh, there's nothing to be sorry about. I don't mind. I'm having a good time by myself at the lantern right. As you can see, those kids love my paper play. We also enjoyed it. Of course, I enjoyed myself as well. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bothered making all the paper characters and paper sets. Did you write the story yourself? Not really. Whether it's your operas or paper plays or the team master's stories, they all know the tale of the brave period. In their moment of need, when people call for a hero, the heroes will answer the call to save the day. Liu has no shortage of such heroes. Just put a little spin to the, on their story and you have something to enjoy. But one has heard about a lot about this before. This is part of Liu's traditional culture. Yeah, that sounds about right. But while there are always heroes who help, all in time of crisis, you can't keep relying on others to have to, and have to take responsibility for yourself. Take care of yourself and man, happy lantern right. Oh, you have a lantern right. Happy lantern right. Uh, if you have time, come see the an opera at the Yonhan Opera Troop. Maybe we'll see each other again there. Okay, so I was gonna play this, this on top of the works. So that's done. Okay, and I got that already. Very well. Next is shelters. Ah, okay, it's another place. This one is another. Oh, okay, so there's something important. Visually, let's see. During Lantern Right, Hu Xin, the navigator of the Crooks fleet, seems to be preparing for a unique training test. Okay. And Venti should be there. <laughs> I only looked around the city, but afterwards just saw that Venti is here. Time to go. This is such a cool ship. Facing the sea breeze and gazing out at the soaring seagulls ah, makes me want to sing out loud. Kazuha, how about I stay here and be the ship's resident bard? What are my prospects? With your level of artistic finesse, I'm sure nothing will go wrong. But I'm afraid the sailors aboard are not the most versed in the arts. They probably wouldn't understand the deeper meaning your poetry holds. <laughs> you can't say that for sure. Poetry is spur-of-the-moment creations. Anyone viewing the same sights and experiencing the same atmosphere would surely understand. <sighs> There's a port in Mondstadt too, but I rarely get the chance to board any of the ships. Speaking of ships, everything's perfect about this one, except... Hmm? Um... Kozla, could you tell your captain that my height says nothing of my age? I'm way past drinking age. How often does one get to enjoy a seafood feast on a ship? Uh, it'll be a real shame if there isn't anything stronger to enhance the food. Pretty please? 
There's not much I can do about that. It's not because Captain Beto's not on the ship right now, but because there's no room for negotiation on this matter. Even I have to sit in the no-drinking zone every time. Uh, but I don't get drunk after just a few sips. Trust me, I can hold my liquor really well. Fishing. Long time no see. It's a bubble. Happy later, right? Thank you, Shin. Bubble also wishes well. Happy later, right? We've seen that the Alcor has a lot of seaborne goods and decorations. Uh, it's as bustling as in the city. Is it? Uh, looking great. No? All the decoration here, hand picked by the captain. She wanted her brothers and sisters on duty to feel like they were at home for the festival. Couldn't they stop closer to the festival? Not only that, before the letter right, the captain gave each of us a bonus and organized several big feasts. The food for every feast is ordered from reputable restaurants, such as the Wami restaurant, which we always frequent a Shinue kiosk and Luli Pavilion. Everyone ate and drank their fuel. I wants to check those out too. Oh, a bonus and a feast, that's great. I has had no idea that Beidou also had such an eye for detail. <clears throat> Actually, the captain has always been meticulously keeping the fleet's affairs in order. Not only do we crew members get paid very well, but during past later rites, she's also prepared gifts for our families. Before the captain got some business information from the Team Chuan on how to improve management strategy for the crooks, the revenue of the fleet has soared, and so the captain has also increased our pay. In this way, the crew will be in tip-top shape for any challenge. When the new recruits hear about how well the crooks fleet, fleet treats its crew, they will be extra motivated. New recruits? Uh, doing later right, shouldn't everyone be on vacation? You guys seem to be working overtime. It's not like that, don't worry. The captain has done all the research in advance. Some of the crew were given early leave, while others were given day off, days off later on. Thus, everyone gets them off, and there will always be someone to man an awkward. I was among the group who got early vacation, vacation time, and I came back to my post completely refreshed. I'm currently getting ready for my training examination, vision and C. Vigilant what now? Is it a new challenge? Yep, you guessed it. During the past two years, the volume of seaboard trade in Liu Harbor has been soaring, and many people have joined up as sailors. Taking to the high seas is a matter of patience, bravery, and perception. These are high de highly demanded qualities. Sailors have to be well trained in order to navigate safe safely. In addition to obtain the four major qualifications and the five minor qualifications, which total nine navigation-related qualifications stipulated by the Ministry of Civil Affairs, two years of maritime training and apprenticeship are also required. Nine qualifications and two more years of training, holy macro, that's all the many. It's not a, no big deal. After all, it's far better to undergo rigorous training in preparation for work than to go out to sea and encountering an unpleasant surprise unprepared. The Ministry of Civil Affairs organized most of the training courses. Anyone with a passable knowledge of sailing could coast by them. These subjects aren't too difficult. Of course, some ships will also have to traverse dangerous waters which will hopefully give them some experience. Given the experience of the Crocs fleet in dealing with rough sea situations, we in the Ministry of Civil Affairs have organized an intensive navigation training program. 
Sailors who pass the training will get a tip navigation qualification, certificate on completion, as well as some rewards prepared by the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Considering I have the best knowledge of the surrounding waters, the captain has tasked me with planning this training examination. Wait a minute, speaking of sailing, you two are pretty good with the wave rider, no? Do you guys want to give it a try? If you don't mind, I would also like you guys to give me some feedback about this test, positive or negative. That way, I will be able to improve it in a timely manner. Well, if I want to see how much skill the crew needs to navigate the high seas. And there's a bonus reward too, it's a win win for us. Let's give it a try. Let's experience what it's like to be a sailor. Such a figure. Then I'll mark you guys down for the vigilance and sea examination. Please do your best. Vigilance C has both a multiplayer blowing waves mode and a single player tranquil water mode. Uh, oh, so I'll have to go to the multiplayer as well. You may obtain all rewards by completing challenges in either mode. Okay, so I'll go on single. Vigilance at C has three stages. Before each challenge begins, a stage will be chosen randomly. View gameplay details and rules at the different stages. The Wave Rider will not be able to use its heavy cannon when the challenge begins. It will gain random techniques by collecting prop lamps uh, in each stage. Make use of these techniques to smoothly sail through the challenge. During the challenge, the Wave Rider's HP will be replaced by durability. Uh, the billowing wave mode, once your wave rider durability is depleted, you will lose all challenge coins you have already gained and enter the mm. voyage observer the stage. Really your wave rider will not be able to collect any challenge coins or prop lamps in the state. You will exit the state after a while and your wave rider can participate in the challenge again. In truck waters mode, once your wave rider's durability is depleted, the challenge will end and your score will be calculated. The more challenge points you have at the end of the challenge, the higher your final score will be. Okay. So... Oh. Um, crossing the turbine waves. The sea lanes where danger and opportunity meets meet are dotted with vortexes and hidden currents that can speed our wave riders up. Don't I lose the health when I go into that? Uh, when the challenge progresses to a specific checkpoint, a giant vortex may appear. Uh, a giant vortex that will pull on your wave rider very strongly is present in the sea region, and large numbers of challenge coins can be found at the edge of this vortex. Okay. Floating lanterns mystique. That looks pretty. A great number of shell lanterns are floating atop the glimmering waves, and special luxurious challenge coins will be present within a few of those shell lanterns. When the challenge progresses, when the challenge progress reaches a certain checkpoint, fireworks will go up in the surrounding sea region. Follow their colors and choose the correct shell lantern to solve the lantern right. Riddles. Uh, when fireworks go up in the surrounding sea region, follow their colors and shapes to choose the correct shell lanterns and obtain the challenge coins. If you do not choose choose correctly, your wave rider will be destroyed instantly. So keep your eyes peeled for the correct solutions to the lantern windows. Mystical Elevation Luxurious challenge coins can be found within the ocean lanes lined with sea balloons. When the challenge reaches a specific checkpoint, these balloons will begin to dump cargo and a mist, and a mist shall descend over the ocean surface. The sea balloons will dump the double cargoes that hold either luxurious challenge points or bombs. 
keep your wits about as you collect the cargoes for a risky opportunity to walk hand in hand here. Quick miss may cover the seas nearby, so don't get to care. Man, there's a lot of things to read here. The spawn leashes that spawn the current location right now, but there's one with few red violets that same in your the ball with the okay, this is right much player. Tomorrow after is this skill revival challenge claim collection rate to be increased. Purify skill revival will not take damage for a while, good. But the waves and least a vortex at the current location of the revival at the vortex remains few rain rather than see the vortex will be pulled towards continuously. Then there's a bit of a way right this in the center of the park with decrease. Full throttle after the skill revival rush for its thesis and direction of space. Okay, I hope I won't get any of those while playing in single player. Ah, uh, okay, so that's just... I probably don't have to do everything. Oh. Okay. No, it's you. Let's just... Ah, uh, just talk to you, okay? So let's just... We just see... Okay. Should you give it a wall? Thank you. I didn't really touch that. that good? I don't know. Or do I just have to... I guess this one I just have to keep going till I get everything. Uh, how much do I need? Five thousand. Okay. No, no. Facing the uh, with your level, but I'm afraid the sailor. <sighs> Speaking of shit, hmm? um, could you tell how often there's not? It's not because even I have. Okay, uh, about the difficulty of business at sea. Oh, let's just guess. How do you guys find the challenge? Well, that wasn't too hard. They could, it's gonna test the piece of cake for five minutes. Well, considering how formidable you are, that you are, this sounds about right. Thanks for your feedback. Now I know a little more. I'm going to have to think a little bit more about how to adjust the difficulty curve for both challenge and pass rate. And about the nine certificates, four major certificates, and five minor certificates. Simple. Four major certificates consist of the fit for sailing certificate, the ship maintenance apt aptitude certificate, the power maintenance aptitude certificate, and the survivability at sea certificate. The five minor certificates consist of the basic safety certificate, the lifeboat certificate, the fire safety certificate, the first aid certificate, and the monster precaution certificate. Without the certificates, the sailor is equipped to solve most of the problems of navigation. 
Although the crew may not understand the principle of each request, they just need to remember the main points of the task and follow instructions. This doesn't sound simple at all. And we still haven't gotten into the details yet. I should consult beta what I had things. Okay, the captain is a bit of a straight shooter. He'll probably become experts after I start. What about the other one? Uh, details? No worries, with your talents, you can save smoothly without having to bother with other te technical details. Okay, challenge. Okay. Worse than four. Okay, that was better. But not that much. Oh, I went to... No, 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 no. Check the other one. After I check the other one, I if I still don't have enough points.
get off. And I'll try for the pole. Well, I used that thing. Okay, let's try the cold. Um, uh, and the other challenge for the most challenge points wing, so that's not cooperative. Hey, why there's a guy with salt?
Ooh. Damn, I almost died. We lose every coin, don't we? Ooh. <laughs> oh, damn. No, it was me. Good, I didn't get hurt. Like I won't. Okay, I got that. Oh, but it was better. Okay, I didn't win, but I got more points than if I just Please, so. Okay, one more. Somebody died. Oh, I am one side. I better try to stay safe than try to win now. Them. 
Okay, just stay put. Get away. Let's try. Oh, yeah, we can place that thing that will hurt others. Okay, that's done as well. the scenes in your harbor an adventurer is busy with a certain task where Time to go. Uh, did this area get cleared? Uh, I think it should have. It should have been cleared already. Oh, what a headache! Uh, you are the traveler. My apologies. I was too busy. I didn't even notice you. What are you so busy with? Uh, so it's like this. For these years, Lantern Ride Festival. We of the Liyue Harbor Adventurers Guild have been dispatched by the Ministry of Civil Affairs to help with some tertiary tasks. Uh, the Minilith are primarily responsible for patrolling the city and other key areas. We, on the other hand, uh, get to go out and clear out some monsters, along with those good-for-nothing bandits too. Uh, speaking of which, you are a registered adventurer as well, aren't you? I've heard plenty about your exploits. If you want, you can help us out too. What do you say? Isn't it supposed to be a holiday? Well, since we are helping the Ministry during the holiday, we're providing additional compensation for our efforts. So, should any adventurers be willing to take on these commissions, they'll be able to collect more rewards upon completing their tasks. How much additional compensation are we talking about? Mission 1, mission done. Trust me, it's plenty. That depends on how much work I still have left. Alright, I knew you wouldn't just stay idle. Oh, be sure to mark down all the locations already confirmed by the guild. Also, please take this miniature lunch to What's that? Should you accept one of the commissions, remember to launch one firework. To launch some fireworks after you clear out an area. After you launch the fireworks, we will send someone to designate the area as cleared. And then we will adjust the overall plan in accordance with the areas that have been cleared. That sounds pretty strategic. Yes, this is the Lantern Right Festival after all. We can't let anything go wrong. People are more tense than a stretch cord right now. Never mind this for now. I'll go take a look at the situation. Need to make a report to land later. So, why is he on here? Time to go. Solidify. My guiding stars. What? Wind Strider. Don't be scared. The birds come. 
It's done. I thought there'd be more waves. Ah, uh, and that's that. Ah, oh, okay. Those three were a single one. Well, I think I'm here. I... I learned that... Yo, yo, Madam P and stuff are here. Young Faye. Time to go. so beautifully. Do you think you could teach me? Oh, child, you simply never stop, do you? This festival is a rare chance to rest and relax, but here you are pestering me to teach you this, that, and the other. <laughs> Don't worry, Granny, I'm a fast learner. And anyway, the sooner I start learning, the sooner we'll be able to perform a duet together. A musical duo is only as good as its weakest link. So you gotta teach me all your secrets, okay? All right, all right. Well, you can start by making me some more tea and leaving it to cool on the side. Sure, Granny. I'm so happy. And all the oh. grandmas and grandpas in Chingsa Village had a great time too. Oh, I changed the village. You mean, what am I doing here? Well, just now, I did a performance for everyone. What does she do, actually? Although I can't play an instrument anywhere near as well as Master, I can still sing. Even Granny Roisin said I did a great job. She also gave me some candies. <laughs> I'm so happy. And all the grandmas Order and master. masters told me a lot of stories about the Adepti. There was Sky Bracer with the giant deer horns, and Sea Gazer who loved to collect treasure. Sometimes Master talks and talks for a long time until her voice starts to sound sad. But then she always breaks into a smile again and tells me all of the things each 
of them loved best about Li Yue. I love everything about Li Yue. Some of the Adepti are gone now, but it's okay, because I'm gonna help take care of everyone in their stead. I'm so happy. And all the grandmas and grandpas and chinks. I'm happy that Mr. Dvorak found the fairy lady from his story. And I'm also happy that it turned out it was Master all along. Also, I helped out this time too, didn't I? So that means I was paying homage to my master? Oh, oh, also, Mr. Dvorak got one of his friends to bring me a toy from Fontaine. I like it a lot. At first, I didn't know whether I was supposed to accept it or not, but then Master said it was okay, so I did. I'm so happy, and all the... See you. See you. Make sure you take good care of Paimon. Oh, and please come play with me if you ever have the time. Okay. Where is the next one? <laughs> Time to go. Want to take the hammer? Cloud high. The first order guide you. Solidify. Wind Strider. Time to go. Solidify! Time to go. Time to go. Yeah. 
Wind strike. Tip. Stabilize. Tip. Oh, is that it? Is that the show of while I was passing by? Yeah, they spawned while I was passing by, but that isn't it. As one with wind and cloud. Not now. Order guide you. Gather. I will have order. Solidify. Wind strike. Fallen leaves. Adorn my sky. My guiding stars. Don't be scared. Looking for trouble? Order guide you. Stars, shine for me. As one with wind and cloud. Stabilize. Uh, okay, this one doesn't have any things to be here. Uh, you're supposed to keep the area around the way, see. They don't have the millilith thing here. I mean, they do, but there are never any milliliths here. Now, most touch. Uh, okay. Yeah, if I don't go deeper into Mostach, makes sense. Wind strider. Not now. I will have order. Don't be scared. Yeah. 
this line. Let's talk back to them. Um, the guy on the paper paper play was I could talk to him towards so let's kind of report back to those guys. Time to go. Time to go. People in online work. We are real busy during the holidays. My mom is going to snag my year off when I get home. Maybe I should buy some gifts to bring back. Uh, no, it's not going to work. That's going to accuse me of being wasteful more. What a headache. Okay, he doesn't care that I just cleared everywhere he told me to. There, the other one was in the bowl. I, I've spoken to her. And, uh, and the one here vanished. Is it because it's night? Wherever in this world I roam, I carry memories of my home. Okay. I think that's all. Oh, there's that as well. Okay. And let's get... I can choose have 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 okay let's have a new one mm -hmm. okay and I think that's all this blade it is the last link I have to the land of my birth. I didn't pay attention to the name of the new event. Okay, yeah, the other one's for this. Uh, uh, okay, her. <laughs> I 
I think we're missing something. Surely enough. Oh yeah, there's also a shell we can talk to. Time to go. Time to go. Yen Shao just came up here with some almond tofu, but I haven't finished everything Shang Ling gave me yet. I never had an almond tofu. Can you just keep that in your pocket for a long time like that? You should try some too. I'm not as experienced in tasting mortal food as you, and I couldn't tell the difference. There must be many different stories to tell of the hustle and bustle of the mortal world too. You can tell... Oh. And then we're just missing Yelan and Ganyu, I guess. In Kitchen. But from what I search online, Time to go. they don't seem to be anywhere. And uh, and that time, they aren't around either. And Shenhe. Shenhe also vanished. But yeah, Genyu is one that should be around because we spend most of the quest with her. So yeah, I guess that's it. Oh, she's. Can I check here yesterday? Hello, my child. How far is it? Okay, but this is just the regular Madden thing. It's not related to the event. Okay. This is a peaceful neighborhood. But yeah, I guess there's no game anywhere. Well, let me just make today's wish. Nothing. Uh, there's 12 days for that. Um, so there's a good chance I'll do this one before. But I'm not really sure when I'll play Shin again. I'll probably take a break tomorrow. So I don't know, and I'm out.